Where do aircraft call signs come from? Well, they come from about three different places. The first is if you've got an airplane of your own and you want to make up your own call sign, you could use your initials and you could make up a number and make it your call sign. You can do that. You could file a flight plan uh, under those circumstances. Most commercial airlines and most private pilots uh, do it a different way. And if you own an airplane, it has an N number that comes with it. My airplane is N327 Mike Bravo. That's my call sign. Why? Because it's written on the airplane. It's easy to identify and it's easy for me to remember. I, I, there's no confusion with that. What about the commercial airlines? Well, the commercial airlines are different. They, that is dispatch, gives you a call sign. Now it's always got your company name in front of it, but then it'll have a number that goes with it. It's not the end number of the airplane. Those numbers have to do with your destination, where you're going so that dispatch can follow you around the world. And so going into Los Angeles or going into New York or starting out of maybe Charlotte or starting out of Miami or one of those places, they will have not the exact same call sign, but many times similar calling, sounding call signs. Something that starts with a seven or a six or a five that lets everybody at dispatch know where you started from and where you're going to. That's the story behind it. Now you know. I'm Captain Steve. Fly safe. Wait, don't go yet. Do me a favor. Become Captain Steve's new best friend. Hit the like button, uh, share, and subscribe.